It's only 9.09 a.m. and I've got all the laundry done, the bed made, the dishes done, the house fairly clean. We've actually already started Christmas shopping, which is crazy. And I found a couple good deals this morning for Christmas gifts, uh, like really cool things for cheap, which was really awesome because we're a little on a budget this year because we're planning our five year anniversary for April and it's probably the biggest vacation we'll take for years. I wanna show you my grocery call, $40. Uh, that I look at it, it doesn't seem like $40 worth of groceries, but that's what $40 bought me. So this should last me, I'm hoping, a week, a week and a half. Easy peasy, because morning I have smoothies every morning. Back on that grind, love them. I've been doing my vanilla protein powder with orange juice, so it's like a cream sickle smoothie, so good. I'll show you what I bought really quick. Tomato paste, green beans, two sweet potatoes, coconut milk, um, celery sticks, little street taco things. That's what they're called, street taco sliders. Three things of mushrooms, parsley, hummus, the chips to dip the hummus, three kinds of beans, I got red beans, pinto beans, and navy beans, and I got some more garlic spice and some Arjun barbecue smoky sweet infusion sauce. I'm so excited because this week I bought myself a new toy. It's it's a little bit of a sale. It's like five dollars off of the Amazon price, and I feel like it's it's a good size. It's a good size. I got myself an Instapot. There's this YouTuber that I've been watching maybe for a year now. Her name's like Broccoli. Broccoli Bites or something? That's what she calls her subscriber. I don't know. Team Broccoli. She's a vegan. And she's on my level. <laughs> she, uh, like, she's a cheap vegan. I guess I can say. Because there's some vegans on YouTube. I'm like, can't relate. Can't buy that. <laughs> Too expensive. So, she's relatable. So, I'll put her link below if you want to check her out. You guys probably already know her. But I like her a lot. So... Today, I think I'm gonna make pulled pork Asian barbecue tacos. I'm going to attempt to cook the pinto beans in the Instant Pot. I'm going to attempt, I don't know if I'm gonna do the pinto beans today. I might have pinto beans already made up. We're gonna see. I don't know what I wanna do for like the street taco. I don't even know if Asian barbecue sauce will go with tacos. I think it does. I feel like barbecue tacos are a thing. And I'm, I guess I'm gonna make Korean barbecue tacos. I have kimchi in the fridge. I can make like a spinach salad and maybe I can go find a carrot in my yard or a radish. Like this is literally making it up in my head. Young green jackfruit. I've made um, pulled pork tacos with these before or pulled pork sandwiches with these before. When they're big and they're ripe, I've had jackfruit on my channel before if you can find it. It's really yellow, and it's it's what what juicy fruit pretty much was inspired was from was jackfruit, jackfruit juicy fruit. Does that make sense? <laughs> so it's really sweet when it's big. It's kind of bubble gummy. It's chewy. It's delicious. Oh my goodness! But when it's a fruit, you can really only make sweet things out of it because it's so sweet. But when it's a baby, when you pick it too early, it's like pulled pork. Look at that. Do you see that texture on there? just work it through your hands and I'm hoping look at that and I'm hoping once we put it in the instant pot we can break it down a little bit more and it's gonna be more like fall off the bone but I want to rinse this brine off because it's like really salty and I got to work with these a little bit to help them fall off the little pit thing I don't know what you call it as I've been a vegan for a couple of years and like I'll try something now and uh, my husband's like no that doesn't taste like meat I'm like it tastes like what I remember and then people always say like well why are you eating meat why don't like why don't you eat meat if you're gonna eat like imitation meat I said because I don't have a guilty conscience when I'm done eating it like if I sat there and ate a hamburger I'm going to sit in my bedroom and cry for 10 hours <laughs> about eating another life. I don't like, I don't know. We were just bred to think something different. And I think ch children even know, like when they're born, they're, they, they're like, oh, cow, cute cow. I love the cow. And like in some places, children have to 
kill their own animals. And most of them cry about it. They don't want their pets to die. And that just, it makes so much sense to me. See what I mean? Like, we're in a world where there's so many opportunities for food. Look at that. Why don't we just eat vegetables and fruit? Seeds and nuts. Like, why do we have to kill something to be satisfied? I don't understand. Let's open this bad boy. So you got a manual, a recipe book, ooh, quick reference guide, paddle, rice, soup, measuring cup, and a steam rack. Ooh. That's it. That's all she wrote. And Court gonna make a lot of broccoli soup. Other stuff. So we got the steamer thing. I don't know how that's gonna work exactly. I feel like all my broccoli would fall through that thing. I don't, I don't know. All right. So I think we're gonna like use a daikon radish because we got some really big daikon radishes out here holy crap look at that bad boy <laughs> it's so cool but i'm going to use one of these over here that's kind of over clustered like here's a bunch of them growing together I'm just gonna pull them up, see what I get. Oh, that's perfect. All right. On the inside, it is not purple. It's not red or whatever you wanna call it. We'll cut this side. It is bright orange. Isn't that so fun? This will add a lot of cover, color, color <laughs> to the salad. All right, so I got the carrot and the radish, all cut up in tiny, tiny little bits. I'm gonna add a little bit of apple cider vinegar to kind of break it down. I'm gonna add some onion powder, some garlic powder. Mm, do I know how? Yeah. Mm. And some chili flakes. And then, I guess I'm gonna let this marinate for a little bit and add the spinach. We'll see. I cut up an onion. My eyes are watering really bad. I'm gonna add like a half a cup of cut up spinach. And then I'm gonna get the kimchi. I don't wanna add any salt because there's already salt in the kimchi. But this is looking rather good. All right. I don't want to use too much, but I love kimchi, so I'm making Korean tacos. We're gonna do it right. All right. So good. I love kimchi, guys. I'm making it in these huge mason jars. If you're new to the channel. All right. So with this. This is my scrap bowl now. I'm gonna keep this for it later because I'm gonna probably make some tomato soup. I'm just going to dice these up in like little slices like I did the rest of the vegetables. I wish I had like a pear or an apple to add to the salad, but I think I might just add a little bit of coconut nectar because we have so many like spicy things. I kind of want a little bit of sweet to this. So Hank bought me this a while ago. It was like down some vegan aisle and it was like, I don't know. He thought I would like it, but I do like it to sweeten stuff up because it's not super sweet. 
because it's just enough coconut nectar. I like it on oatmeal. That's like the big thing. I'm not a big oatmeal person. Though. What do you guys think? Does that look good? Would you put that on tacos? Heck, I would. I was cleaning my mess. My eye's watering. I'm not a boy. My face. Or is it gonna like burn me? Oh. Heck. Oh. All right. Well, it's boiling. Holy smokes, that was fast. All right, so this has literally been cooking for 10 minutes. <laughs> and it's hot and it's boiling and it smells good. So I guess we're just gonna like uh, whip up a taco. Mm, put this first. The kimchi base. Okay. Going to. I'm gonna let this cool down for a minute, but I promise I won't take a bite. So we'll see. So it's cooled down a little bit. Let me get my little street taco. This is good. Oh, it's good. The crunch in these vegetables are so, so good. Oh my goodness. I need more of this. You know what would be another smart idea? To make those steamed buns and stick this inside. I gotta let it, like it's so hot and it like literally cooked in that thing for 10 minutes. I don't know if, obviously I did it right at work, but I don't know if I used it right. <laughs> but it's like tender, it's soft, it's delicious. Look at that guys. All right guys, thumbs up that video if you liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to stop it here because I plan on baking all day. So I don't know how much I'm gonna film, but that was just like some weird attempt at trying to use the Instant Pot for the first time, but nothing too hard. My next recipe is gonna be plain. I think I'm gonna make red beans and rice, but I kind of want to make cilantro lime rice, but I'm gonna make it parsley and lime rice and that way I can have that pulled park park <laughs> over cilantro lime rice which would really be good and then I'm thinking about making some kind of glaze I don't really know and can I soak almonds faster in that thing like can I infuse them with water faster I don't know but I definitely need to read a lot about the instant pot if you guys have any suggestions comment below that was good. The radishes from my garden were like crisp and delicious. The carrots from my garden were crisp. The lettuce that I put in there wilted down so you had like this really good like mesh of flavors of chewy and crunchy and hot and spicy and savory and sweet. So good guys. <laughs> and like literally, I'm like, what do I have around the house? I bought a couple things today to help me make the, the Korean tacos because that's what, I, that was the plan was making barbecue. And when I saw that in the store, I'm like, well, what about like Asian inspired tacos? Would that be delicious? And heck was I right? But if you guys have any comments, comment below. Thank you for watching and bye guys. <laughs>